Namaste everyone. In today's video, I wanted to share with you about how self-worth and self-love is very important and what you can do to build it. My name is Priya. I'm very passionate about sharing positivity and empowering others to live their life to their fullest. We're all creators. We have the capability to create a life the way we want. So let's make it beautiful together. Let's dive in. So today I wanted to share about self-love and self-worth. Basically, most of us at least go through once in our lifetime, if not many, um, of self-doubts, um, low self-esteem, um, any of those things where we really feel low about ourselves or bad about ourselves, where we feel like we're not good enough. All these things, most of us can relate to this. I have been through that myself. But what happens is the more you um, self-talk to yourself about these negativities, the more you'll start believing in it. And the more energy you're putting towards that, the more it becomes stronger. Your thought form is what creates reality. So the more you're thinking about this, um, the more you're confirming that it's true, and then you start believing that it is true, and then it becomes true. So what you need to do is really reflect on who you are. The core, core of you is really the belief system that you have all these thought forms, all these emotions, you're not your thought forms, you're not your emotions, you're not your belief system. At the end of the day, we're a soul. We came here to develop as a soul and all these experiences are helping us develop. But at the end of the day, we have to know these thought forms and emotions that are not serving us is not really helping us improve. So what we need to know is really detach ourselves um, with these thought forms and these emotions that we get. Many of us go through this when we say we're not good enough. We're not, I wish I was better. I wish I can do this. I wish I was capable of doing this. Um, why am I not pretty? Why am I, what, what wasn't born this way? Why did I not, why was I not born in this family? Like, you know, all these things that um, comes in your way when you see something more beautiful, you feel like um, you're not, you're not there. Or even sometimes when good things happen to you, a lot of, some of, I know, personally, I know a few people where um, when good things come to them, they still think negative and they're like, maybe it's, it's a way of them not accepting the fact that they're worth that, they're worth getting that good. Um, and and they, they still have this um, denial about getting good, good um, and uh, making, it, um, making it stay with them. So it's, it's weird how our thought form is. So in order to remove yourself from that, first of all, you need to know what your thought form is like. So witnessing, observing, and witnessing what's happening is very important. So the first thing you should do is throughout the whole week or even for two weeks, observe how your thinking process is. How, how, whenever something happens, what's triggering you? What's triggering you to think a certain way? When something happens, how does your thought form form? Like what's happening? What are you always thinking of um, or blaming? Who are you blaming? All these things, all these questions, ask yourself for the first two weeks. Because when you observe this and you ask yourself how these are forming, you would realize that these are the negative thoughts that are constantly coming. And when they're constantly coming, that's when it's more powerful and will become a reality. So in so by observing, then you realize who you are, what sort of thought forms you're having, and then it's easier to change it. So once you know what sort of thought forms you're having, let's say you're always thinking you're not worth um, worth love or worth whatever happiness in your life, then, then you need to start bringing in a different thought uh, art form and make that a reality. So it's consistent practice that really is the key here um, because it's easy to say this, but to actually practice is difficult. Um, and this goes with anything actually, not just self-worth or self-love, but even any negative thought forms, any other type of negative thought forms regarding yourself or others, those things actually really affect your auras and chakras, your energy. So for you to rem keep reminding yourself to purify yourself, um, purify your thought forms and have better thought forms um, to be formed, then you need to be observing and understanding what type of um, thought forms you're constantly getting. And once you start doing that, then you can then have for every little negative thought forms you have, you can have affirmations that changes that. So saying, I am worth the love, I am worth the money, I am worth 
all the happiness in this world. And once you start changing that, and there's so many um, uh, words like this online where you can really even copy that if it doesn't, if you can form it yourself, just copy that and write it down at any time and keep it everywhere you go or keep it with you. But any time um, you have this negative thought form and you recognize that, then you read that out loud and tell yourself, no, you're worth it. And the more you practice doing that, um, it becomes automatic to the point where you won't get the negative thought forms. Even if it comes once in a while, you know how to change it to reprogram your brain um, to think positive. The minute you start thinking that way and become, you get the habit of thinking positive, then you will start actually seeing more positivity. You'll feel good. You'll have confidence. You'll have lots of self-love and self-worth. Um, and when that energy rises that high, then you're in your nothing can harm you anymore because it's our thought form that are bringing us down not anything else you can't blame other people it's what we think um that's important what we think um that other people are thinking it's everything is in our head at the end of the day nothing matters because you know you're not the emotions you're not the body you're just a soul and the soul itself is pure so all these thought forms are we're making very um bad impressions and um, we need to get rid of that. We need to purify yourself. So the best way is to really practice, practice, practice. Obviously, you can get help from people. You can help get help from counselors. You can get help from family and friends. But if none of that works and you're into spirituality, you can ask any masters, um, you know, that, that are not in their body or in their body right now, but um, who um, are very um, higher, uh, or even the universe, like it doesn't have to be the gurus or masters, but it could be the universe, God, whatever you label it, you can ask for guidance and help. You can ask the angels for guidance and help. And every time a negative thought form comes, you can ask for help. And then that would also help you um, purify yourself. I hope this video was helpful for you. If it was, please click the like button, share this video with others. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe and click the notification button as I'm very determined to creating weekly videos for you guys to empower you to live the best version of you. Until then, namaste.